Okay, so now we're on the back and we're gonna figure out what lunar phases are being drawn back here. The big thing again is find new moon. New moon is always in the sun. So it just so happens that this first diagram is new moon, okay? So this is new moon because the moon is directly between the earth and the sun. So I can go ahead and label that new moon. And what am I gonna do on the diagram? Uh, on the little thing for shading. How much of it's gonna get shaded in? The whole thing, because the side that's facing us is dark. Now, here's the trick for the rest of them, because they changed the orientation of the picture, if you've noticed. But if you can remember, new moon is always in between the earth and the sun, then that's what I want you to do. Here we go. I'm gonna take my little marker and I'm gonna mark new moon. New moon is always in between the earth and the sun. Once I mark new moon, I go counterclockwise. I went counterclockwise one quarter of a turn. So what is this phase? It's first quarter, okay? Okay, y'all can write those in, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and move on. All right, next one. Where is new moon? Always. In between the earth and the sun. So look, I'm gonna mark it with an N. And then I'm going to go counterclockwise. I went counterclockwise just like one eighth of a turn, it looks like. So what is that phase? That's waxing crescent. Let's do this next one. Where is new moon? In between the earth and the sun. So I mark new moon and I go counterclockwise. I went more than a quarter turn, but less than a half turn. So where am I? I am at waxing gibbous. All right, the bottom two. Where is new moon? Yeah, y'all should get tired of answering this because the answer is the same every time. Where is new moon? Everybody. Between. Between the earth and the sun. So let's mark it. New moon. And then you go counterclockwise. So what is this phase down here? The bottom left. Full. Very good. Okay. Then we're going to do this final one. Where, one more time, where is new moon? In between the earth and the sun. Mark it with an N. And I've got to go more than a half turn. So what's that phase going to be? Waning gibbous. And then you guys can just write it and draw it in. Has everybody got that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go on to the map for August of 2017. On the map, what is given on the map? The calendar, sorry. Huh. Um, what's given on the calendar? Uh, other than the dates. <laughs> the moon yeah, the moon phases are marked. The principal moon phases are marked. Your, your principal moon phases are full and new and first and last quarter. So let's start up here. This is Sunday the 30th of July and it's got a little symbol and the left side is dark and the right side is white. So what is this phase? It's first quarter because it's half and half. So I'm going to mark it first quarter. Okay. On August 7th, what does that little symbol mean? That means full moon.
on August 14th. What does that mean? Third quarter. Third quarter or last quarter. On the 21st, what is that? Okay, that is new moon. And what about the 29th? First quarter. First quarter. Okay, I've got my principal phases done. Now I'm going to start filling in the rest of it. If the 30th first quarter, what comes after that? Wax and gibbous. And wax and gibbous lasts for a while, doesn't it? Yeah, sure. You don't sound convinced. Okay, so from the 31st, all the way through the sixth is wax and gibbous. And then we get to full. After full, then what? Then, um, then waning gibbous. On the 14th was last quarter. After last quarter, what are you going to have? Waning crescent. Waning Okay, the 21st is a new moon. What about the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, etc.? It's going to be a waxing crescent. Very good. Twenty-ninth is a first quarter again. After a first quarter comes what? Wax and gibbous. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to use the same color as I did for the last set of wax and gibbous. And that'll finish us out. Okay. And now we can look at some questions on the back. Which dates or date has a solar eclipse possible? On what days would a solar eclipse be possible? What lunar phase would you need? Look on page 240 and 241 in your book. Because what phase do you need? Okay, in order for a solar eclipse to happen, you have to have a new moon. Okay, new is not actually the answer to that question because I'm asking for a date. So I need the date when a new moon occurs, and that is August 21st. That's actually the date of that 2017 solar eclipse that I went and saw that y'all saw the pictures and it was almost overcast. We almost didn't see it. Now, a lunar eclipse did not occur this month, 
but dates would a lunar eclipse be possible? Um, the Why? Because it's a full moon. OK, you would have to have a full moon. So that's going to be August 7th. And then 3 and 4 should be easy because we just labeled the whole entire month. What phase of the moon is on August the 2nd? Waxing gibbous. Waxing gibbous. What is the phase of the moon on August 16th? Okay, it's a waning crescent. Once you get this labeled, it's really not so scary anymore to answer these questions, is it? Okay. Which date or dates have a first quarter moon? And? and July 30th. Okay, so July 30th just because it was included on the calendar and August 29th. Which date or dates is the moon's visible surface, meaning the side facing us, which dates is it 50% illuminated? June 30th. Uh, how about July 30th? Oh, July 30th. Uh-huh. August 14th and August 29th. Because I'm looking for my quarter moons, right? Okay, we'll wrap this up today and we will continue this tomorrow. No homework, but bring this with you tomorrow, um, and we'll continue working on it. Okay?